Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome, welcome to Honeymooners Haven, an adult only boutique resort catering predominantly to couples looking for a romantic getaway in the jungle. Now this place is huge. It features a gift shop, reception, cafe with breakfast included, an indoor bar, a multi-use room that includes a small library, internet access, and the only TV in the entire complex. And that room can also function as a conference room if need be. Uh, it has eight individually appointed suites in the main building, plus four individually appointed private bungalows. It has two very private and romantic hot tub huts that can be reserved for intervals of up to two hours. It has three massage rooms, two for couples massages and one for a single. And it has a yoga pavilion. They do classes every morning, yoga classes every morning, and then they open it up to general use for the rest of the day. It has a pool, a poolside eatery, another hot tub for general use, a basketball court, an outdoor tiki bar slash lounge, at the top level of the main building, a romantic gazebo, a covered bridge that goes into the three recreational treetop decks, one of which includes yet another hot tub, and plus a little jungle pond overlook and an area with uh, some vending and a fireplace. So this place is jam packed. It's actually maybe a little bit too packed for a boutique resort of this size, to be honest with you as far as amenities because my husband and i we do boutique resorts this is like a thing for me it's it's one of my favorite things to do when traveling is to find small hotels boutique hotels uh, that are unique unique is a huge thing for me and so a few years ago like five or six years ago we went to costa rica and I got us this off the beaten path place that I found. And when I say off the beaten path, I mean like, like you had to get off of the highway and then go onto like several smaller roads and then some really, really tiny roads and then onto a dirt road for a half hour. <laughs> So if you wanted to go to eat, like if you wanted to leave the place and actually go out to eat somewhere, you had to drive about 45 minutes. So it was way off the beaten path. It was the in the dry rainforest of Costa Rica. And it was a boutique resort that had 20 individual bungalows. And so that was where I got the idea to do the individual bungalows. And typically these boutique re resorts feature something unique, something that is different from like, they're not your typical like Sandals, Hyatt, Hilton, Secrets, resorts type places, right? Like they, they have unique elements. So I wanted to create something unique in this. And so the big unique feature on this are the three recreational treetop deck areas. So the people that stay here, they can go through and do this like little trek in the jungle and go up into the trees and basically enjoy some lounging up in the treetop areas. So that's the big unique element here. Okay, so now that I have told you all about it and shown you some of it, let's take a closer look at it and let's hope I don't do a terrible job with the camera movement. I will try my best not to make people dizzy and all of that good stuff. So obviously we have the, the courtyard fountains and for some reason my camera is crawling all of a sudden, although the time seems to be moving quickly. The, the daylight hours are passing quickly. But so yeah, this is this is the little courtyard. And we have two sets of stairs going up. We'll just go up these. So as not to make people more dizzy, we can see the, uh, the cafe in through the window. A couple of fountains up front because we know I love fountains. And the door, I did like what Disney does and what all the amusement parks do. The door goes straight to the gift shop. So the entrance is the gift shop. So I thought that was, that was a good way to do it because then everyone has to walk through the gift shop when they come in. There's no, no chance of avoiding it. You have to walk through the gift shop to get to the cafe, which is to the left here. So here's the cafe and the cafe serves Breakfast. Breakfast comes with the hotel stay and they serve dinner as well, but you have to pay for that. So yeah, this is the cafe. We have cafe dude here working. And sorry, I'm going to turn around to the other side. I wish there was a way I could do that and make it less spinny, but I can't. 
and over on this side we have the bar and so this is the indoor bar and it's split up into two segments so there's the actual bar area here and then it's separated if you want to just hang out with your sweetheart and just have a little space alone there's this section here and then there's this nice little cozy area here as well and then this here goes out to the main part that i was telling you about the the walk and everything outside and we have the basketball court on the right side and the gazebo on the left side and I guess, I guess we might as well take the walk now. I'll show you the gazebo real quick. I did, uh, I did the benches going around and everything. The only thing for putting it up on the gallery, just to get rid of the blinkies, I might, I might eliminate the two connecting benches for putting it on the gallery, but I, I wanted the benches going all the way around. I wish we could do that without the, the blinky light things. So we have a little path going to a cute little covered bridge. And then we go under the covered bridge and I wish and hope and pray that someday the Sims gives us the opportunity to change ceiling color because it drives me nuts that that is not wood. And same thing under here. These are all wooden decks and the ceiling color just drives me nuts. I, I just really would love it to look like decking, like what it actually is. But here we go up to the first landing and needless to say, we have a hot tub here. We have a little changing area right there and some towels and a little hamper for them. So that stuff's out. And this gives you quite the view of the resort as well. So, and we're gonna go explore the rest of that obviously, but that gives us quite the view of the resort there. And all right, let's go up to this second level. The second level is good for like, if it's raining, it, you're kind of protected in here and you can still hang out and enjoy yourself. And of course you have this exterior view. You can actually see the basketball court and everything from up here pretty well. And the covered bridge, the gazebo, all of that. So that is the second floor. And then we have the third floor up here and this is all just kind of like lounging area and of course there's a tree coming in through here there's a tree coming in through the one on the second floor so it's like built into the trees and this is this my idea here of course was partially inspired by my costa rica visit and if you were up in the trees like this you'd practically be with the monkeys which would be so cool because they'd they'd just be all around you'd be able to see monkeys everywhere which would be so cool but yeah, so this is just a, a lounging area up at the top. Obviously not good for when it rains in the jungle. So, okay, we are going to go. We're going to fly back down real quick. Whee! Take a little flight down. And I can show you guys that's the back of the gazebo from here. And then here you can see part of the resort. And then on this side we have kind of jungle water and jungle stuff in general jungle jungle i have one absolutely huge tree massive massive tree on the property and so yeah so that is all of that and so now i'm going to make our way back to the gift shop so that's we go back through the covered bridge and down the little windy path some more water over here and oh, by the way, I haven't said it yet, but this is a CC free build. It uses pretty much like every pack, I think, probably, I'm guessing, almost every pack, but it is it is a CC free build. So here's all the, the little romantic tables in the bar. And we are back at the gift shop now. And when we go in straight ahead, we actually come to the hotel reception desk. And so there's some artifacts and stuff on display here. You can check in some travel magazines and whatnot. And of course we have some fountains. Turn it on so we can make everything go here. Some fountains because I love fountains. And then to this side of reception is the gym. Some lockers for stuff for while you're working out. And 
they have a nice view. This is all open here. And so they have a nice view outside while they're working out. So yeah, so that is the gym. And then when we come down here, we go see this. So this is, this is like the view you get when you leave the front desk right after you check in, which is very nice, right? Like if you're, if you're going to find your room, this is pretty much the first thing that you see. So, and we have our guy playing chess. He's my tester guy for the build, at least as much as I could test the build. This is one thing. Um, if you guys download this, I don't know if this build is broken or if my game is broken, but I'm having problems with my builds lately where I can't get Sims in them. I can't get the roofs down to test them. I can't get Sims walking through doors. So I'm having all kinds of difficulties. So I've had to, he hasn't been able to move through all of the doors. I'm having to teleport him in parts of the build to get him to go through doors. So I can still play teleporting that way, but it's kind of, you know, so that's the conference room area. And then when we go down here, and I think we're going to start with left. We shall go to left. And actually, I can't say teleporting him around is bad. It, it's actually quicker, <laughs> to be honest with you, because if I want him to fly from one area to another, that's actually faster. So I actually can't complain about that. It's not the world's worst thing to have to do in a build, especially a build of this size. So this, this is the one that I had on the photos, actually. So all of the little bungalows, they come with their own private decks looking out straight into the jungle. So if, and my thought again here is that you would be able to see some of the animals like the monkeys and stuff that we were able to see when we were in Costa Rica. And they also had, um, I think they're called Kawadi is another animal that was common that we saw a lot of and tons of birds, beautiful birds. Oh my goodness. They had like these gorgeous parrots and uh, just gorgeous birds out in the wild all over the place. Really uh, fascinating, fascinating stuff. That place that we stayed at was, was awesome. The boutique place that we stayed at there, it was, it was great. They had like a butterfly garden. They had deck ways like this, like these, these deck walkways that went up in through the trees and all of that stuff. That's part of where I got the idea to do these decks. All of these houses, by the way, this entire build, like pretty much everything is on stilts and it's on stilts in part because it's inspired by that place that I stayed at in Costa Rica because they're very, very eco-friendly out there. And so they, they keep everything or they did this whole hotel on stilts so as not to really screw up the environment. And then the second cool thing is it, it does is, you know, less bugs and snakes and things if you're up off the ground a little bit. Now, both of these rooms are the same and I'm showing them to you now. And I, I should have showed, showed them to you after dark because they're definitely prettier in the evening hours, in my opinion, because they, they have a view, really beautiful glow in the evening. But both of the rooms are pretty much essentially the same. They just, they're the same in reverse is what they are. And so we're going to go down the deck. And so those little hot tub huts, those are places that the couples that come, they can rent them out for, um, for a period of up to two hours at a time. You can rent a hot tub out for yourselves. And this is another one of the bungalows. And so this one, as we can see, this one has kind of like a little foyer area with some tile. All of the suites come with coffee makers and stuff. It's a little bit too wide angle. And so all of them are designed slightly differently. And obviously the bal balcony faces a little bit of a different way and all of that stuff. So, and there's four bungalows. There's four individually appointed bungalows. And then I think we can look at this main area here. So this little restaurant, this restaurant cafe opens up for the afternoon for the poolside bar uh, or poolside food and all of that stuff. So the bar is pretty close to get to. You can just go inside a few steps to get to the bar. I thought about putting a bar outside too, but I don't know. I, I have one. I have one outside, but it's on the third floor. I thought about adding one here, but I don't know. I had like thoughts of safety. I don't know why. <laughs> 
So this place here, this is little deck area with some little vending places. So I imagine that the guests come here, you know, during the day and they stop by and the vendors hang out here for a few hours a day. And so the guests can buy some trinkets, some little souvenirs. This little building back here, this is the massage hut. So down here, this first room is a singles massage room. So this, this is if someone wants to get one by themselves, but if you're a couple and you want more of a romantic thing, the downstairs and upstairs rooms are both double massage rooms so that you can come and rent it as a couple and, and not rent it, but like pay for a massage as a couple and, and get a couple's massage which is kind of a romantic thing to do and pretty much the same thing actually i should turn around sorry about the spinny but turn around and there's stairs here the second room up here i'm just gonna fly in real quick second room is the same thing essentially downstairs it's just kind of facing a little bit of a different direction and a few things are like slightly different positioned but you guys get the idea it's pretty much the same thing so okay so now we're gonna go down this deck up a little high here and down here and we visit down here we've got a general use jacuzzi so this one can't be rented like separately or anything like that so and then we've got our towels and things here campers for the towels if you've ever stayed at a resort this is actually common like they usually have some kind of bin for the used towels and and they usually have towels out and i've even color coded them throughout throughout the resort <laughs> i'm so geeky i think all these things right so the hot tub room has the pink towels this area down by the pool and jacuzzi has the white towels and the treetop area has the brown towels so that way the maids know where to put the towels or housekeeping knows where to put the towels so this is the little uh the little what do you call that stuff? Yoga, a little yoga hut. And obviously they could get rid of the yoga things and make something else out of that as well. So, and here's another bungalow. This one opens up a little bit different. So you have the little food area in the foyer, the coffee maker and all of that. And so this one is more of a darker theme on the color, but the bathroom is pretty bright. All the bathrooms are different, but most of the, um, most of the bungalows have five piece bathrooms and this is their view out the jungle. So the big thing that you get with the bungalows is almost all of them have, I think all but one has a five piece bathroom. So they have, they have bathtubs in the, uh, in the bungalows and in the hotel rooms, which are back there, I'll zoom in a little bit. So the hotel rooms back there, obviously they look out onto the resort, whereas the decks for the bungalows look into the jungle. So one might prefer one or the other. I showed my husband this build and I asked him, so would you want to stay on in the main building or in the bungalows? And he's like, bungalows for sure. <laughs> so he was all about the bungalows. And I knew he would be too, because if we stayed here, we, we would totally choose the bungalows because the privacy, we like being away from everything. So, so that's this one here. And this one is the only one without a tub. This one has a shower, two dual sinks and a shower. It doesn't have a tub, but what it does have is the largest deck space of all of the bungalows. And it also has the best view in my opinion. Well, except for the fact that the underside of these doesn't look like decking like it should, but it's got a two-sided view of the jungle. So you can see this whole thing. And then you have the left-hand side of the jungle too. So it's got, it's got, a lot to see it's got the best view of all the bungalows so yeah so that's that's that space god sorry for how horrible these camera moving things are so okay so that's that and then to the left to the left we have this cute little like overlook thing so all this is is it's just like a little walkway and you just end up over the jungle water and stuff like that and you get a nice little view of everything. We can see the, the um, what is that thing? The cover bridge. <laughs> My words are always escaping me. It's awful. <laughs> that thing we're looking at. It has a little placard letting you know some information about the, the trees and the vegetation in the area and all of that stuff. 
So, you know, those little informational placards that we have when you go places. So that's what that is. And then we go back out here and we are back at our pool area. And so one side has seating and a trash can mysteriously appeared. How on earth? I cannot possibly leave that here. Uh, weird stuff happens in the game. Like, I don't know why we, like, I swear to God, strange things happen to me. I have naked people show up in my game. I can't go through doors. I have mysteriously appearing trash cans and stuff like that. Um, I went to download the build. There were different chairs missing in different places. Like I, there was, there were just things missing. Shelves of stuff out, out of the gift shop were just gone. Like, I, I don't know if I need a new thing on my game, like a new install on my game or what. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on. So, oh yeah, the, the top deck part too. Okay. So, well, before I get to that, these areas, I should talk about these. I mentioned that the main building has eight suites, right? If the camera would stay steady, this is why I was in this mode because that other mode, the camera will not stay steady. So, all right. So there's eight suites here that we're looking at the decks. So the big difference here versus the bungalows is your decks are overlooking the resort. And each one of these suites is slightly different in configuration, in the uh, the color scheme, and the size of the decks is not the same for every everyone. The decks on the left are a little bit larger than the decks on the right. And so they all differ just a little bit. And I'm not going to like fly us through each of them. I'll show you the overhead just because they're similar enough. This area here. Oh, this is the maids area. So that has all of the, um, the, the laundry stuff and the cleaning stuff and all of that stuff for the maids. So that's, that's what that area is. Okay. So here are a couple more of the rooms and the bathrooms are in between. And as you can see, each one is, is just slightly different. And there are two rooms that have two single beds. So even though it's named Honeymooners Haven, it doesn't necessarily have to be like, you don't have to be a couple to stay here. There are a couple of rooms in the facility. Here's the other one over here. No idea why the camera's bouncing up and down like that. I do apologize. But here's the other room over here that has the the two separate beds so and they're designed so that like you could quickly move furniture and put them together if you wanted but yeah so each room has a little bit of a different design each bathroom is slightly different and same thing up top at the top the top floor the top floor is all double beds there's there's no singles here but so this just gives you an idea. They all have a, a little bit different on artwork, a little bit different on configuration. So, and that is actually kind of common in boutique resorts, not always, but if you've stayed at a boutique hotel, that is kind of common. And for those who have never done and don't do boutique hotel travel, because this is like, it's like a specific thing. And my husband and I do a lot of this. And typically there are hotels with 10 to 100 rooms. That's usually the thing. So this hotel has 12. So it definitely falls in the boutique category. And so this is the rooftop bar, which in my opinion, I'm happy that we're in nighttime now because this is my favorite time at this bar. I think that this bar looks fabulous in the evening. I think a lot of the stuff and this bar, by the way, has a, um, a clear roof thing. So the Tiki bar, the idea with this is that this opens in the late afternoon, evening. So in boutique resorts, a lot of times you'll have like, like the cafe might be open for breakfast and maybe there's a free breakfast included. And that was my idea for this resort. So the cafe will be open for breakfast and offer free breakfast. And then the pool eating area will open, be open in the afternoon and they'll open the bar. The third floor bar will open late afternoon into early evening. And then the cafe will reopen, like they'll open for breakfast, they'll close for lunch, they'll reopen for dinner. And then after dinner time, this bar opens up. So, uh, and then this is actually kind of common in boutique resorts a little bit so that they're not fully staffing everything all the time because you don't have enough guests to fully staff everything all the time. So, but you want the, the guests to have a little bit of variety. So 
This place actually has a lot for only 12 rooms. This has a lot of amenities, though you probably wouldn't have quite this many amenities. But one of my favorite places in this is is the uh, the gift shop. I love this little gift shop. It's all debug items in case people are wondering. And I guess I should give you guys download information. So, okay, it's a CC free build. It's a 64 by 64 build. So it's on the largest lot in Salvadorada right now. It, it meets the requirements of a whole bunch of different things. Each of the building is on pilings. It's all built on pilings everywhere underneath. So, and I, I should also say, since I'm doing a tour on this one, if anyone is watching this and like, say you don't know how to do that, or, you, or if there's anything here that you like see that you don't know how to do and you want me to do a tutorial on it, I, let me know because I obviously didn't do a build video for this. So, but nonetheless, if you want to download it, it is CC free. It is on the gallery. And as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. I'm happy with this one. This is definitely like the first thing my husband said when he saw it is that, that this is a place that we would stay. And I was like, yep, you betcha. So, so would you guys stay here? And if you would, would you choose one of the bungalows or would you choose one of the rooms in the main building? Which, which would you prefer? And, and would you rent one of the, the hot tub huts or the massage couples massages or something like that while you were staying here? Because there's some stuff to do. Would you hang out at the, the upstairs hot tub? What would you do? Those are my questions. And I should probably let you guys go for now. I think that we have covered pretty much everything in the resort. I hope, fingers crossed, I hope, uh, hope I, I didn't miss anything. Uh, and I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you did, please do hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.